What's going on today? We're taking a look at some leaks inside of Diablo Immortal regarding the incoming update. These footages, because I have two of them for you today, are coming out of China. We're going to be breaking it down, looking at this new PvE special event that we could be seeing come over here to all of us players as well. I want to let all of you know this is not official news from Blizzard. I was not told this from my contacts over at Blizzard. This is just what we found over on this website that shares oftentimes events and things that are going on inside of the game over in China before we see them here. This is a really cool looking event that seems to blend together two other types of events inside of the game, making them one with a lot of different features that seem fun, rewarding, and uh, actually just pretty cool. Something I will note though, is we have the Blood Knight intro screen here. And I'm not sure why. We had the Blood Knight intro for a while. It went away, Diablo came back. But now over here on the Chinese server, they're still looking at the Blood Knight. I'm not sure if we're gonna start see, if we're gonna see that come back. Remember, we did see that in the events tab all as this update was getting uh, pushed forward, that tab came back. And I said in a previous video, that it was kind of annoying that it was there. I wonder if they're bringing back this theme. I guess we'll have to see. But let's dive in and take a look at some of the footage here. Notice we are looking at a level 16 barbarian it's a level 16 brand new barbarian right there because when you go into this you start with no levels on anything you're going to be going through taking down a bunch of enemies in an open world what it looks to me like is you go into this portal which looks very much like a heliquary portal and you have to go from the beginning of the stage to the end of the stage getting gear and upgrades as you go. And then when you get to the end of the stage, you're gonna encounter a Heliquary boss, which you're seeing happen right here. Notice he's getting to the platform and there is a Heliquary boss you could see on the map in the top right. In going here, you could instantly just hop in with a party or you could probably form a party yourself. And then you have to dive into a battle that's already ongoing if you join a party. Notice this Heliquary boss already has a bunch of damage taken and just get on into the fight and battle it out. Now, I'm not sure from the footage that I'm seeing if you do one stage after the other after the other and keep progressing, or if it's one and done. But notice there's a whole bunch of rewards that are had right here. And I don't know if like in Heliquary, it's a bunch of demonic remains that we get and legendary pieces of gear and regular scrap materials that we get to keep and use for our main account, or if these are just materials that we then use as we take to another next stage of this event. But notice, Heliquary bosses that we already know, it's actually quite smart of Blizzard and Netties to use this mode, Heliquary, for more than just the two Heliquary battles we do every week. Allowing for players that never experience Heliquary, maybe because they don't have a serious enough account or enough friends in the game, or they just don't even know about doing Heliquary, another way to get in through the eyes of an event. And as you can see, it looks, I can't read what this says, but I'm not sure if this is taking us to the next stage or whatnot. But the next video I have for you is quite interesting because this one is going to take us a little bit deeper. And I'm going to pause as we go to take a look. And as anything else, I would really love to have more events coming. I like new stuff coming to the game. And for those of you that don't know, I did just switch to Crusader because I'm really focusing a little bit more now on PvP, specifically PvP events um, that are going on inside of the game that are, you know, special events. Let's take a look here at what we have going on inside of this video. All right. Notice there, it was the Diablo intro screen, not the Blood Knight intro screen. So very interesting. Different uh, characters that you could jump in as, or this is actually the player's characters probably, and another Heliquary screen right here, different than what we see now inside of the game because this is a special event in the special event tab. Notice here, the player is choosing a class. For this game mode, are you able to choose whatever class you wanna play for just that special event? If so, this is game changing because I could be my crusader, play the game as crusader, but then if I want to play this event and I want to mess around as the wizard, I could do the wizard for just this event. And then obviously when I get out of the event, I'm back to my normal class. I don't know. I don't believe that this person is class changing here. I believe that they are choosing what class they want to play for the special event, which is quite cool if you ask me. All right, so going on in, He's choosing his class. It looks like he chose a barbarian. Now we come to this intro screen with all of the Heliquary bosses. Well, I shouldn't say all of them, but a number of the Heliquary bosses to choose from. I'm not sure 
because we haven't played this yet. If you start on LaSalle right here and work your way across, or if you just choose one and that's the stage that you're choosing. Part of me, I like both. I like that I could choose whichever one and defeat it and then choose a different one. I also like that it would be a progressional battle that you have to go through each one of them. The problem with it being a progressional battle is it could take a long time to go through a full stage, then fight the boss, and then have to do that for another one. We'd be talking about eight, eight minutes each, eight, six, and 20, 48 minutes, almost an hour of gameplay to get through all of them, which seems like a lot if you ask me. Remember, we're not going in with our built-out characters. We're going in with level ones, as you're about to see. So he's going to go here. Notice he's choosing a zone. There's many different zones or segmented areas of the zones, and they're all labeled 1 through 10, 10 through 20, 20 through 30. So it seems like there's some type of progress that you can have along the way. He's going to be starting at the 1 through 10, and it shows that LaSalle is the boss to beat on 1 through 10. Now he's going in as a barbarian. As you can see, it's a level 1 barbarian also. And... Footage is not the best looking, but we're getting a good idea of what's actually happening here. So he's having a difficult time playing as the bard because it's low level. But here, look at this. A piece of gear. He picks it up. And then is he gonna, it's tough to tell what he actually does with it. But I would assume that it's instantly getting equipped, just like we see in the Fractured Plane. When you pick up something that's new and when you're an empty piece of, an empty shell of a character... If you pick up a piece of gear and you don't have anything from that gear equipped, it would auto-equip it for you. Then if you pick up another one, you would have to choose which one you want to use. So I like that. It definitely has that feel of Fractured Plane on it as well. Looks like we uh, we didn't register with the site, but who does? Let's keep going here. So he's getting... Well, actually, does not look like he's getting a little bit stronger. Still at level 1, but still having to deal with all of those enemies. And this one, I don't believe, shows us as he gets towards that horde... I mean, as he gets towards the Heliquary boss at the end, but definitely shows a lot more of the stages and what progression you have to have. And that's what I found was the most interesting with this one, was how you choose and get into the battles themselves. How are you going to actually... Uh, see, this does look like an event screen. Like, how are you going to go in and, and what class are you going to choose for the event? I'm not sure, though. We'll see how that works out. And also how the progression works right here, going from one Heliquary boss to the next. Either way, no matter which one it is, I'm excited because we have another new thing coming to Diablo Immortal. Things have been a little bit stale lately. We've been looking at the same events inside of the game now for over a week. And even when they swapped out, there's only a couple hanging out inside of the game. And they're ones that we've all experienced before, so nothing new. Maybe I'm being a little bit, uh, you know, of a baby here, but... We, we've kind of become adapt. We, we, we want to have new stuff come to the game all the time. And we've been seeing that as time goes on. We know that something big is coming to Diablo Immortal. We know a big update's coming. Could this be one of the game modes from that big update? Uh, I guess time will tell us 100% for sure. But I'm happy to see that this is at least in the game somewhere. Because oftentimes... If it's over in China, it makes its way over to us very shortly after. That's not 100%, but we do see that happen most of the time. Let me know what you think about this game mode. If there's any more details about it that you know, leave them in the comments section below so that others can learn about it as well as myself. Maybe you've played it. Maybe you're from over in China and you can tell us more. Hope you guys have a great day. Remember to subscribe for everything Diablo Immortal.